Election day is just hours away. Candidates from both parties are making their final pitches to voters. That's right. We start with KCCI's Lauren Johnson and Council Bluffs. Republicans spent the last day ahead of elections getting in front of voters before they head to the polls on Tuesday. Republicans are making last-ditch efforts to bolster support, rallying voters in Council Bluffs on Monday night. This stop was one of eight as GOP candidates traveled across Iowa. One more day and we are going to take our country back. Governor Reynolds currently leads against her Democratic opponent, Deirdre DeGier, in the polls. In her bid for re-election, Reynolds touted her handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. You know, when the rest of the country shut down, we stayed open and most importantly we got our kids back in the classroom. Thank you legislature. First state in the country to get our kids back in school. As election day gets closer, Republican Senator Chuck Grassley is widening his lead in the polls over Democrat Mike Franken. For Grassley, immigration policy is crucial. He pointed out his plans to revisit the completion of the border wall between the U.S. and Mexico. I'll vote to finish the wall because that's an investment that's going to save a lot of taxpayers' money down the road. Brenna Byrd is a Republican candidate for attorney general. She's neck and neck with Democratic incumbent Tom Miller. Byrd made promises of backing the blue and keeping Iowa safe. I'm a prosecutor. I love keeping our county safe and helping crime victims. But I also love working with our law enforcement because here in Iowa, we back the blue 100%. Reporting in Council Bluffs, Lauren Johnson, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. Are y'all excited about this election? I'm Laura Terrell in Des Moines, where Democratic candidate for governor Deidre DeGier revved up the crowd Monday night. 24 hours before she hopes to defeat Republican Kim Reynolds. The time has come for us to elect leaders that are going to go the distance for all Iowans, and that's what I'm signing up to do. The packed Union Hall on the east side of Des Moines served as an election eve pep rally for Democrats. In about 24 hours, we're going to be saying, not so fast, my friends, because we're going to shock the hell out of everybody and have an amazing night. Thank you so much for being here. Dems are holding out hope despite disappointing polls, giving strong leads to Republicans in key races. Now is not the moment to suppress the brakes, folks. We have come too far. These are the moments where we push. Each candidate called for supporters to door knock tonight, saying it will make all the difference. I want all of you to knock. We do not want to get to tomorrow night and have another race where we are just a handful of votes short of a victory. Appreciate all the hard work. All right, let's do this. Victory is what Congresswoman Cindy Axney is vying for tomorrow night over her GOP opponent, Zach Nunn. You've seen these ridiculous lies they're running against me. Axney reamed Republicans for negative ads. She says it shows they're worried. They have nothing good to run on. They're running on fear. You guys are the foot soldiers of our democracy. We have about 24 hours to seal this deal, and I know we can do it. Democrats say if you can't door knock tonight, then pick up the phone to call someone to tell them to vote. In Des Moines, I'm Laura Terrell, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. We do have a few election reminders for you before you head to the polls tomorrow. You must have a form of identification with you. If you don't, somebody who lives in your same precinct can attest for you. Polls now close at 8 p.m. instead of 9, and absentee ballots must be received by the county auditor before polls close. 